Bolt cutters. All right. And time has passed. Ralph. Okay, spotlights. Yeah. Do some cutting. Cut faster, cut faster, cut faster, cut faster, cut faster. Woo! Oh, my bolt cutter's broke. Run! Oh, snap. Damn it. Was I supposed to get caught? Yes. St. Lawrence Church. All right. Hey, pretty lady. It's Freddy. He's throwing... Uh... Oh, is this where he's dying? No. Dragon. Oh, that's my wife. Oh, no. Is this me dying? Am I just refusing? <gasps> Dude, Freddy's a beast. He's just refusing to die. Right here, doggo. Doggo! Oh. Thank goodness. Oh, I did not want to lose my friends. Hey, doggy. Help him out. Grab him. He's a good boy. You're getting extra special cookies today. Who's a good boy? Gotta go find it. Oh. An SOS. Alright, well, what does this do first? Okay, something needs a battery or something. Oh, we found him. Hey, buddy. Let's get you out of there. How are you feeling? Oh, there's a shiny. Mine. Flashlights. Flashlights are common in the trenches. Army issued flashlights were made to fit into cartridges, belt, and functioned with batteries. All right. Yes, we have electricity. Let's do that. Oh, he's got a battery. Okay. No, no, no. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta plug in the battery. There you go. Yeah, lights on. Ooh, tank. Can that be mine? That'd be pretty dope. He's telling me to wait. Armored vehicles. Assault artillery. Oh, wow. Assault alt artillery was invented during the war in an attempt to break through enemy lines. The first prototypes of armored vehicle appeared. The first prototypes of armored vehicle appeared. There it is. Generals noted that vehicles fitted with wheels were ineffective in a trench environment. Engineers thus worked on prototypes to overcome the problem, and Caterpillar tracks proved to be a perfect solution for the problem. No Man's Land. No Man's Land was a zone located between the Allied and enemy trenches. The difference distance varied between 50 and 1,500 yards. The zone was watched closely by day, and anyone venturing out would be shot. But by night, it became a theater of espionage, where barbed wire and traps were set to protect trenches. Most battle ca casualties resulted in this zone. All right, what do you, what do you, you need to find a spring. All right, what's up here? Oh. Broken German bayonet. This long, broad, flat German bayonet was designed to thrust into an enemy's ribcage and break his ribs. Oof. I will take this. All right, does this... Move that. Yep. What are you barking at? Oh, we found a... Oh, I get it. Okay. I think I understand what needs to happen. I need to come over here. And I need to tell the doggo to move this. And then that. 
Yeah, look at me being awesome. Uh oh. Oh, I'm so awesome. There we go. Hey, I found you a spring, sir. There you go. Yeah, good as new. Oh, dude. Heck yeah! Taking us a tank. Wait a minute, we forgot the doggo. I'm going backwards. Get in, buddy. I want to get out because there's a, a locker right there. Okay, here we go. Let's go back to that locker. You go look for a toilet. Or whatever that was above your head. Shish kebab. A rat on a stick. Oh my gosh, it, it is a rat on a stick. Dead rat wasn't garbage, especially dead rat on a skewer, which would be spit roasted for dinner. You can't reason with a starving man. Yep. It makes sense. If I was starving, I'd probably eat a rat on a stick as well. What is this move, actually? Oh, it changes the arrow. Okay. What's in here? Got a pulley. Oh, I need something. That's what the uh, scientist guy was looking for. That was above his head. There's a picture or something in that room. Oh, we need the, the shovel digger. All right, what are you looking for, mate? What are you banging on? Oh. Oh, he needs those shapes. Okay, so, square. Come on, rotate. Wait, what? Oh, I see what it's wanting me to do. I have to match his shape with this. That's funny. Do I have to make the... the I'm going to make the square. Match what he's got going on there, too, just in case. And then get this. Come on. Come on. Rotate, bro. Oh, I can't rotate that one anymore. So this should work, right? That should be good. That looks the same. That's the same, mate. How is it not the same? Do it this way then. Maybe this corner goes up like that. Stupid. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to do. That's what I have. And it's still not working. What am I missing? Like, that's actually hard to s tell 
It looks like the square goes to the left. Like this. And then this. This looks like what it should be. But it doesn't work. What am I missing? I gotta pull this. That's what I gotta do. I'm a dummy. Right, give me that. I got you your weird shape. There you go. Now he wants a square. All right, I can I can print you a square. Done. Oh. Will it still work? It still works. No. It has to be a diamond. Okay, I get it. Well, I can't re rotate these very far at all. That has to be what I have to do. That's the closest I can get it. It's not giving me the cutscenes. I don't know if it's actually right. Here you go. Okay. Doesn't need the cutscene. Oh. Oh, he made a cannon. Neat. Gotta load the cannon on the, the tank now. Oh. Oh wait, no. It's gotta go left first, or right. Oh, I get it. So pulling this just makes it go left and right. But the dog needs to activate that thing. To do that. And then she just drop it, right? Yeah! Okay. Got us a makeshift tank. Let's get in there. Yeah! Oh, I don't need the digger man when I'm in a freaking tank. Oh, wait. Dope. Yeah. A man on a mission here. Boom. Yeah, go away. I want to take a screenshot. Stupid thing. Boom. Boom. Yeah. Go away. Wait. How did that grow back? And why can't I just drive over it? Oh, it didn't grow back. What's up, suckers? Boom. Fear me. I'm here to wreck your shit. Oh, Zeppelins. Oh, mines. Get out of here. I can just run over this stuff. Yeah, screenshot. Bam! I'm gonna take a screenshot of... Yeah, screenshots. Bang! What are you shooting at me for, suckers? Bang. Got him out. I'm just gonna run you over. Oh no, he did kill my tank. Bummer. Boom. Boom. Here, the tank ending. Bang. Bang.
Bang, get out of here. I'm in a freaking tank, yo. What do you got? What? He just one shot hits me? That's lame. Get out of here. In my town now. Got him. What the hell, man? One shot? That's lame. Just smush him. That's how I roll. What do you got? Bang! Get out of here. Alright, so... I'm gonna just keep moving forward at this point and go into this little ditch here and hopefully he didn't hit me. Yeah, that's how it works. Okay. There we go. I'm not scared of you. Oh, snap. Got him. Got him. Good at shooting them ear dudes. Messed up your munitions depot, son. Lots of dynamite around here. That's not good. Yep, bad news bears. Oh, snap. Alright, well. Let's blast our way out of this, shall we? Can't shoot up. Kind of wanted to shoot up through. Oh, I can't drive through that. That's a bummer. Wanted to shoot up and <laughs> bring that dude down with me. Sorry, houses. Amphibious assault. There's nothing. Yep. Tank, yo. Unstoppable smushinating machine. I like count none of these guys care at all. Was given a hero's welcome by the French forces. Emil wrote to Anna to let her know that her father was free and out of harm's way. Freddy and Emil's reunion, however, would be short lived. Don't tell me that. May 14th, 1916. Freddy was sent to the Somme, while Emil's regiment was quartered near a small village at the top of a hill. The village was called Boqua. This is where the conflict had moved underground. Holed up in their trenches, the two camps dug tunnels and galleries. The underground war had begun. Go find Mr. Mole Man. Yep, World War One base, indeed. As far as I understand, it's based on real life events. Alright, I gotta go find dude. Go Bobby. What's going on, guys? Doing alright out here? Yeah. 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 Alright, can't go that way. 
I still got my shovel. Volcois and Mine Warfare. 